Hey there, my name is Teresa, and I'm currently studying BA Photography at ARU in Cambridge. I'll be talking about my project called Home is Not a Place. So initially I think I started working on it long before I knew it. I'm someone who has always felt the need to somehow release my feelings as a form of mental health. Whether it's through a song, or a poem, or a painting, or a photograph. It's like, when I let it all out, I'm physically making space to feel something new. So, when I was around 17, I went on a school trip to London. And I later found out that my father had gone to London on the exact same day. 30 years ago, and had taken photos on the exact same camera. I think that's the moment when I was, I was like, I have no idea what it is that I'm feeling, but it's one of the most intense feeling I've ever felt, so I need to do something about it. I think it was a mixture of grief, nostalgia, and also the bittersweet idea of one chapter ending and the new one beginning. I felt connected to something that was no longer there and saw a very specific beauty in it. This project actually makes me think a lot of Claude Monet and how he was painting the same place his entire life only in different seasons, in different atmosphere, or just different time of the day. I look at my work similarly, because I think that I'll always be drawn to documenting my nostalgic feelings about home. Only with time they will shift, maybe they'll grow more intense, or maybe one day I won't feel like this at all. I think that if this day comes, that's the day when this project is finished. I think of my photographs as a way of healing. I mean, I'm sure that we all sometimes feel like the world is going too fast and we can't really catch a breath. I think that taking these that was my way of taking a really deep breath. I mean, a photograph is literally a time capsule. I think that that's what I really like about it. The time in it will forever be the same, and I find that really therapeutic. <laughs> that at least in one place, the time will not go on. So these photos... They capture moments. They are not staged, and I truly believe that everyone owning a camera could take these. But that's not what's important. Because every time the feeling I felt this whole time arose, I just pulled out my plastic camera and pressed the magic button. It was so easy and so simple. It was just one button and a very light camera I wasn't really afraid of ruining because it was already pretty trashy I think that that's what gave me the freedom to just live my life and kind of wait for this moment to come instead of looking for it if it makes sense these photos are a real marker in my life that makes me feel bigger than I am transports me to the place I was and to the feelings I felt. And I like to think of my photos as poetry the most, because that's what I really like about poetry. It gives you the freedom to feel whatever you need to feel. It's really mysterious and it makes you want to read between the lines. I feel like it doesn't really give you the answers, but it makes you look inwards 
and search for the answers that are already inside. And I really like to think of my photographs the same way. Because sometimes I think that it can be really destructive to describe the reason why I did what I did. Because a photo of a sunset isn't going to make you hear Simon and Garfunkel because that's the music I was listening to. Or it's not going to make you think of the same boy I was in love with that summer. But I think it's going to maybe transport you to your own mo moment or to the place you feel nostalgic about. Or to the time when you were just 17 years old and you were in love or you were just looking forward to the future. I would like people to just look at the photos and let everything that's happening inside of them come alive. Maybe they'll see their feelings more clearly or maybe they will experience the feelings they've forgotten. I think that's what I would really love. To just transfer people to their places so they can feel whatever they need to feel to give them the space for it. What I like about this project is I think it's really simple but really personal. I think that it captures what all human beings feel in a really simple way. Or At least that's the goal for me. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm quite there yet, but I think that that's the reason why this is a never-ending project. Started in 2017 and going on forever. Thank you for listening.